Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Berryman Studios, and in this first playlist for uh, ECMAScript 6, we're going to go over some of the new stuff that's in here, and this is just going over a lot of new stuff with the classes and scoping and all of that. So I expect you to understand programming as a whole. Uh, I will have another playlist for learning programming through ECMAScript 6 uh, and getting a hold of uh, classes and inheritance and all that stuff. Um, and then I will have a third playlist on showing how to uh, write a game framework in ECMAScript 6. So uh, we're going to start off with the first thing that I'm pretty sure everybody is curious about, and that is actually classes. Uh, so we actually get object-oriented programming as a standard in JavaScript 6, and this allows us to do classes, inheritance, and all of that. So let's begin on that note. So if I were to create a class, the syntax is just class, and human is what I'm going to call this class. So we have the class uh, keyword, and then human is the, the name for this class. Uh, we'll begin with a constructor. You must spell it this way. This is the constructor for classes. Uh, so all lowercase, constructor. And then the arguments would be passed in here if there are any arguments to the constructor. Uh, this is a constructor as you would normally have it in object-oriented programming. So it is the first thing that is declared when you create a new instance of this type. So uh, let's go ahead and give this constructor a variable. We'll start with name as the variable name. And to create class or instance variables for this class, uh, you're going to say this dot name equals name and this will create a class variable or an instance variable uh, named name uh, for this class. So let's create a function to do something with this new instance variable. We're going to call a to string function. This is how you create a function, just normal function inside of the class. Uh, you don't need to put function in front or anything. You just say the function name and the parentheses for the arguments. And all we're going to do here is return hello, my name is plus this dot name, and we'll put another plus and a dot for uh, our period, I mean. So uh, basically, we're going to say class human. The constructor is going to take in one argument, which is going to be a string name. We're going to assign an instance variable called name to that name that we pass in. And then we're going to call to string we're going to print out hello my name is and then the variable name. So if I copy all of this and I jump over to my nightly version of Firefox and open up the console, we'll just work in the console for now before we start building web pages, and down in the prompt for the uh, console, by the way if you don't know how to open the console it is F12 um, or you could probably go through the tools and look for developer tools I don't know exactly where it is. Here it is, developer. Uh, so we're going to paste our code in there. And you'll see the class human, constructor, to string. When we press return, we'll get undefined per normal. And that means the class has been created. We can actually create an instance of this class now. So I can, uh, let's bring this down here. I can type out uh, var me equals new human. And I will name me guy. You'll see that it becomes undefined, but now I can say me dot to string, and you'll see hello, my name is Guy. So this is how we can create classes, and in the next video, I will go over how we can create uh, instances, or not instances, where we can inherit from this class, and we can inherit from that inheritance. And uh, of course, with inheritance, we'll also go over how we can call uh, class functions, so we can call functions from the parent, and how we can override those functions as well. So I'll see you in the next video. Uh, leave your comments below if you have any questions, and uh, I'll talk to you then.